Bon Mati too was crucial. No, Bon Mati is current. She's just showing. She's just showing Wait, that. Wait, see. Let me Ballon first give her. The Ballon d'Or. Oh, yeah, 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 give her the, Let me give first her give her accolades. Current Ballon d'Or winner. The best player in the Champions League final. The uh, Euros, UEFA uh, Euros player of the year. So it was Gabe Bell for She's... you. She's... <laughs> Twenty twenty four has been a year of different exciting sporting events. So far, we've seen the Afcon, we've seen the Asian Cup, we've also seen the UEFA Nations Women's League final. But guess what? There's even more to come. There's Euros, there's WAFCON, and there's also the Paris Olympics. Now, a Nigerian team has an opportunity to be in the Olympics in July, and it is the Super Falcons, not the Super Eagles. I am fair. I'm joined with Amara on this episode as usual. Amara, how you doing? Copa Americans, baby, hold your truth. Oh, you mentioned I don't mention everything. them. Oh. I didn't mention uh, Copa was, uh, I then, want to speak Portuguese. Um, Copa America is America is you know, this, this year. So we have lots of activities in stock for 2024. Yeah. Club action also, also. But then these ones are for national league side. For Nigeria Super Eagles, sad one that we're not going to be there. Huh? It's something we are getting accustomed to. <laughs> what is accustomed to waiting? <laughs> After seeing them in Africa, I think you want to also want to see, see them, them again. in Paris, yes, definitely. But for me, like me, a strong supporter of Super Falcons, following them a very long time. What about you, Sha? But they didn't, they didn't qualify for the last Olympics. In in 16 Japan. years, 16 years, the last time, 16 years, the last time Nigeria Super Falcons were in any Olympic Games. So for us now, the many hold now is Desire Ellis. Hmm. South Africa, the reigning champions. Coach of the year. Yeah, the reigning champions of Africa. Somebody who have gone. Yeah, they beat Nigeria. After trying for like two, three editions to Nigeria, nick it. And Nigeria were even the one that was knocking them out at the point. So at some point. Trying to nick it off Nigeria. Yes, we we'll face them in finals and they are probably the second um, giants. Let's men football. give them in quotes. No, they are Let's second t- giants. Zambia is coming. History. Zambia is coming, but they are the second giants. South Africa, Nigeria, and then South Africa. Morocco also there in the mix. For Ghana. Mm. Don't worry. But well, let's look them later. exclusively at the but Super Falcons. Super Falcons Round themselves. the wardrobe is back. Yes. And he and Ashley Plunder, since the um, World Cup last year, this year, um, the qualifiers was the first time we've seen both of them back with the sides. We've had games before that time, the issues of if he was still the coach of coach the side or, or if he was not. After but then, that wonderful the NFL have confirmed that Rand Jordan is the coach of the Super Falcons and we are happy he's going to continue, especially seeing what happened during the World yeah. Cup. For the World yeah. Cup, was another story for, story for another Even day. Even during yeah. the World Cup, during the World Cup, like the first two games we were in. No, no, no. After, after, the first, after the first game, um, definitely we had hope because you play against Canada, who are the Olympic champions. champions yeah. Yes. And then you get a draw. Jamaica saved, saved the, the penalty. penalty. Clean sheet, something that we rarely see from the Super Falcon side, especially following what happened before World Cup kicked off. So I'm sure that all Nigerians are happy. But we'll go, we'll go and go NFL NFF if they say, ah, this man, I'm letting him go. But for us, good want to have them back. The first leg was away from home. Yeah. And he had two goals wrongfully disallowed. I don't know that it was because of the this West the African bias. No, I don't, I don't, there was no VR. I don't think there was, was no VR out, but then this, this is something that the ref, no, the it, linesman... Is it that the linesman got it wrong? Or... The ref didn't see it from afar. Is it that maybe there was the, the person was a Two yard goals. out? There, from the, our there was one there current was... key player right now. Esther. With Esther all respect to Oshola, Esther Kuronko is the... Oh, she, she just showed she's that... She's the one getting the goals she, for us. So far, she has showed that she's a player of better quality and she can bring that improvement to the team like how Rashida Tadibadi has slowly... Yeah. Bro- but for the past, the past six, seven games in the national team side, Esther Kuronko has at least had close to four, five goals. Qualifiers, yeah, friendly let's matches. Add, let's add the disallowed goals. Qualified, no, Two. aside the disallowed goals. Seven. Qualified um, friendly matches and down to the World Cup previously. And then now to the Olympic qualifiers. Okay. She had two goals chopped off. She threw her goals. And she said something on her Instagram page. I can't say that in, <laughs> I can't say no, that in here. But she not. was actually <laughs> sobbing. People that disallowed the yeah, two goals. Yeah, yeah. But then 13, 14 minutes into the return leg in Abuja and she, she got banged the goal. The first goal. Courtesy of assist from the another star player again that we have in midfield, Jennifer Uchegini. 
but guess um something weird happened before that match. You know, the fact that he didn't see Asita on shoreline in the starting lineup. Yeah. And they were let's see rumors and just gist about why is he not starting a star player, this and that. And this for some for so uh for around the world room, I've got to notice that even when he's not when he makes those bold decisions, at the end he gets to pay off. We get to see, we saw it at the World Cup too when he decided to bench Asita to Shwala. Do the game against yeah, Australia, yeah. She came for the bench was and injured, she scored, yeah. right? He said he was injured, but it's just see something that no matter how injured your star players are. When you see, remember when Osimhen was injured in the Afghan too, yeah, but he still had to play. He well, for Rantu Adrum, um and the Super Falcons, I think, like I said, be slowly he has slowly started changing the setup of the team, the players involved. Yeah, like them. So many of the, the old so many of the players. um the old players, other players have actually started dropping out of the settings. I was seeing young young talents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he, he in, gave that debuts. He brought, yes, yes, that he, he came. Debut. He brought into the sides even people for, coming from the on the twenties, yeah. on the twenty threes, down to the senior team. But aside that, now for him, the first leg against um, Cameroon, they, um, Oshola Oshola. and um, Hayinde, both of them probably didn't have a good game. So I uh, keep dropping them the second leg. I'm not really seeing no much, um, no much noise on my own part because the two players he actually brought in place of them They're combined, the that, combined that to get the goal for us to progress to the last lap. For the um, for the um, qualifiers of the Olympics. So what do you what do you have to say for people who just jump on coach's neck like whenever they make those decisions? Just let it let let it flow. Let it flow. Well, I think he has he has trained with them for a while. He has known this side for at least close to a year plus. He has been with them more than a year plus. Um, for Oshola, Oshola recently moved for clubs. Yeah. And she has not really played much because that club side are yet to resume. Um, club action that's still yeah, pre season yeah, certain years, and then for um, let's of um, Esther Okoronko and um, Jennifer Chagini, these sides are Jennifer just moved clubs also to Juventus and she's been scoring goals for them. It's a creative midfielder. And if you were if you watched her from when she was playing college football, you know that she's, she's a, a really star talent. player coming she's up. Really, so in midfield, really we have lots of players, lots of star players, courtesy of Randy Wardo. It's quite good because you know, seeing the likes of those, um. That number Dimei, 10, Dim, just Dimei, we have, exactly. yeah, we have Dimei and Dimei, Dimei and um, Luatosi, they mm. came from the under 20 setup. We also have Esther Jakaye, also Sebastian, all from the under 20 setup by Randy Waldo. But then he has also brought in Tony Pei, Ashley Plumta, we've seen um, Ashley Plumta, um, we've seen scoring goals in Saudi. Of course, she's like, um, I don't know, goals. she's now playing like, I think she's uh, maybe she's defender. not even the defender. I'm like, I'm like, 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 uh, during the World Cup, that hits the bar. Yes, game against um, England. England. That goal had gone in. Very probably close. I very was close so to semi final final for Nigeria. But for Nigeria, Super Falcon setup, I think Brandon knows the teams he wants to pick. Yeah. And if it feels that this player has not really given him what he wants in the match that went on or the previous match, it's good to change it. And like I said, the result came out because some of them. Goal and assist from Esther and Jennifer. Tia Makanya Dozi, crucial. She, Making she's, crucial she's been having, she's having a, let's call it a stellar year. From beginning, from, before, from the, let's, before let's the World Cup, before the World Cup, yeah, down to the World year. Cup, and then for her club side in the Champions League, sad one that they didn't make it to the next round, Paris FC, but she's been saving lots of goals and even saving penalties. It's like she's now the Ido. Ido. Ido <laughs> you know, of and penalty I'm, I'm saves. Enough, and at first, some of her, uh, when I mean she first started in the um, Falcon, the Falcon shirt, she was not really as no, confident I, as that in, 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 in penalties. In penalties, yes. yes. Yeah, but All of a sudden, you just saw a, a it's, new thing. It's called, so like, it's called it happened growth. To too. It's called growth. And I think for now, I went about coming for the Super, I was saying that she should probably go and play for the Super Eagles, which is just eh, a no, joke. No, no, no. But now we and have Stanley Wabali now, who is also good Penalty wise, so it's eh? good to have. It does yes, he is. He no, doesn't it. matter. He saved the one where he faced. <laughs> Just one penalty. The one he faced. Too. The eh. one he faced. He oh, saved. No good carry yeah. and good. So for now, in national team, we have a good goalkeeper for the male side and the female side. And for Chamaka, as always, she's coming up clutch moments for us. Like I said, it's just starting point. I feel. Well, they play South Africa in April, and this is a. Um, something that's funny thing. What's South Africa game? Funny thing happened in the match in Nigeria. Yes, the return leg in Nigeria. At some point, um, during the second half, we saw lots of drama. 
two goals disallowed in the first leg. Yeah. And in the return leg, we saw um, Cameroonians trying to touch the net on the Nigerian side. They felt that Nigeria had a juju, like oh, a voodoo. Something they put black magic, like they put juju on the net that, that they can't score goals. So the player will try to touch the the net. the net and Nigerian players were trying to prevent them from touching the net. Like allow them to touch what the net. The they were like, no, 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 you won't touch that net. Almost if I do. At some point, a player from Cameroon got a red card for those antecedents, uh-uh. but then it was quite funny. It was like Oshola was like. Kind of back, um, don't die. touch this snake. Come on for dear, come on for dear. <laughs> so I was like, is there really juju in that post, or is that not just ah, what they're thinking about? Yeah. Because they're trying to score goals and they're probably eating the bar, Eat and Chabaka yeah. was making saves. <laughs> so they felt that maybe the juju Nigeria they, they, guys, you people have something there. Uh, the probably this is a is to be looking forward to the juju, <laughs> but she's saying that the. Um, they are not afraid to put in the fight mm. for against the super they, Falcons. They always for her, her team has always been a, a thorn in the flesh for us, at least in recent years. They, and the fact that she has not left them. She she was a former, a a former player. Of course, she, most of the players are they are like South African male sides that understand each other because they've played for a very long yeah. time together and under the same coach. She's been building them. They've been falling short and winning the and the half court, but then they eventually nicked it for the first time. Defeating Nigeria in the process. Yeah. Do you understand? So now they are the defending champions. Of course, they will be, they have that edge. They beat us in the last half call. We finished as far as fourth in that particular <laughs> Look, tournament. As far as fourth. So for is, now, so in recent is, is fourth is not something that Super, Fal- Super Falcons are used to. Nine they are always champions. first, second, rarely second, always first. Nine times. They removed two. Say it was, I don't know, probably. I don't during understand. The war. What, what but happened? Was, it's 11. It's actually it's 11. 11. Calf. I don't know what but it's 11. But nine time African champions. So for South African sides, we defeated them. Funny enough, Nigerian, um, the male side, defeated Cameroon, and they just completed Afghan. Yeah. Also beating Af- um, South Africa, the process of going to the final. So we are so saying now this, we it, have it defeated happen. Cameroon, the female side. Now it's next South Africa. South Africa. Even with penalties, I beg. Anyhow, anyhow, we just to be two legs. have to get the win. Two legs, yeah. yeah. But then, for away away from home, probably should just ensure that we just get at least because I think away away rule away, away goals, goals also probably stand. Uh, yeah, and well, stand. The, so the first the first match we played in Nigeria that was going to be April first. The second yeah. one will be eight days later That's in what South I'm Africa. That. So but, for that team, so away mm. goal rules. I, I think it actually worked for them in. The match, the last one they played in last year yes. against Ethiopia. You know, aggregate score was 5-1. Yeah. But before, they played 1-1 first in Ethiopia. Then they came to Nigeria to end it with four goals to nil. You know, for, yeah. for, for Nigeria, I'm sure and Jordan knows some experience because he was on the side that... Because I was saying before the, after the AFCON that you should sack that man, send him back in. But and I'm sure he had experience. He had experience about of, of meeting these yeah. early, So I'm sure that he knows what... That team is capable of. You cannot underestimate them. I mean, we have so many players that are probably looking for revenge. We are out for revenge. At least making us not win our usual bet right. You seen our bet right? Yeah, it's bet <laughs> right. Afcon is our bet right for the Afcon. I don't know for them, but to Afcon, nah, Nigeria bet right. Super so Falcon. But actually, yeah. both of them failed to qualify for the last Olympics. I'm so, saying so, so, they are, they are 16, actually 16 years or the last time Nigeria Super Falcons were in an Olympic Games. So it's a long time coming. I think now these players involved, we have young talent, you have experience also in the side. So it's both it's of good them, mixture. both of them mixed together with Randy Wadrum, who have been with them for a while. I'm sure he knows what to do against South Africa. Just beat South Africa and then we move to the next one. It's not going to be the as other easy team is just two African sides from from Niger- from two African sides in our continent. And yeah. then Nigeria we're facing Nigeria or South Africa I'm going through or Zambia and Morocco. These four teams were the teams that were the four teams the, that yeah. went to the World Cup. Yeah, the World Cup. Because four that's of them, true. yeah, South Africa, South Africa, South Africa, yeah, World Cup was true. winners of the World Cup. Zam- Nigeria I finished fourth, that, Morocco World finished Cup. second, and Zambia came third, defeating Nigeria in the process. So, but then, if you look at the Olympic list, the lineup for the women's football is crazy. Like. France, the host, qualified already. USA, um, the three-time world, world champion. champion. Brazil is there. Canada. Colombia, Canada, defending champions. New Zealand, Spain, who are those scattering teams ah, right now. Australia, Japan, who actually gave pain to Spain during yeah. the World Cup. Um, Germany, of course. And then the two outstanding games, 
and that's Zambia or Morocco, Nigeria or South Africa will be joining this side. The Paris Olympics promises to be one that is going to shake tables. Shake tables this time because what happened last year, some teams don't want it to happen again. I mean, the World Cup. So some, some, some people don't take the Olympics as a really, really well, major tournament, but mm, it is one of the best. Definitely. And definitely. it is so, something that gives um, you, I think, in one of the icons aside, of his aside country. Football, aside the football, aside the footballing aspects, there's the track and field event that I, I, I definitely love, look forward to seeing. Yeah, and funny, so many other the, the Olympics are, has even like watered down in this side of Africa. Then, when you say uh, Nigeria is on Olympics, Choma Olympics Jumwa. is going... Uh, uh, like, that, you know that, that phrase where somebody said in Igbo language, when somebody is trying to pursue you and like chase you and say, ah, try, run very fast, or they say, ah, let go and get your Choma Jumwa because she's a Nigerian baby. that has Olympics. Come on. In, in the, it's years, not as it used to be again. Like Then, I remember, we, I used to go to my friend's house. I would sit down there and when is the Olympics time? Watch. You no, know, the opening ceremony, the guy with the fire running over the flag now, off. and it, I mean, it's it's always um beautiful. Uh, look, funny enough, plenty of people used to park the stadiums, but in recent times, no, 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 Olympi- I think Olympics, the Tokyo Japan even, of course, it really, will still be well. I think I just hope this one will be recently better. now, especially the fact that um the names are just listed out now, the countries involved in the women's sports, women's football, it's very hard to see a. A team and say this team is uh, the weakest link. They are all top top, top countries, top, yeah. so I'm sure all eyes will be on them. We have the likes of um, Holland, Netherlands missing out on this one. We have even um, England. Um, yeah. they, they, they go by GB Great Britain, not in this particular one, but then still see the lineup. Yapa stars will be on display. So definitely, it's, the, it's one tournament that you want to not miss. Well, I hope Sister Joshua will be gearing in to put a wonderful performance. She and she better do. For now, for Super Fan, because I'm just happy that we are, you know, our ambition run is still going. I just hope South Africa do not help us to just squash it. Because, you know, when you're on high, they come and press your neck. For now, we are still unbeaten. We've been facing England. We lost on penalties. So yeah, yeah, unbeaten. Yeah, unbeaten, since unbeaten, the World Cup. Minutes. Yes, since the World Cup. And up Pre World Cup, from few tournament games we played, twenty yeah. matches we played before, from then till now, we have been unbeaten, and so far at least it's a different story from when we were losing games left, right, center. Good one for us, yeah. Well, Agbabola will be hoping she puts her name in the qualification for the um, Olympics. Oh, she also is in the news for good reasons as she moved to Bay FC in America uh. after one hundred and seven goals. In 149 appearances for Barcelona, it's a good move, right or wrong? Well, of, of course, it's a good move. Um, Shola has been since she kicked off from the unders or um, woke up on from a super super far connect. Yeah, she has been growing from strength to strength, moving to Arsenal Academy, then to Liverpool, then, then to she China. went to China, then signed on loan to Barcelona, and then made fully it permanent. Made it permanent. And then she has scored lots of goals. She's hardly a starter in that team. Exactly. Like, it's, it's, and yet it's, it's, it's she has this number of goals and she won lots of, of trophies, trophies there. And you cannot say that she didn't contribute because if you watch the goals, number of goals she scored. Of course, those, so number, were, most of those them goals crucial. definitely. She has won, um, she has also won the Pichichi, that's top, yeah. top goal scorer in the And she was nominated for the Ballon d'Or yes. twice. And then she be, she became the first um, one of the first um, African play women to actually make it to top 10. I mean, top 10, yeah. yes, in the Ballon d'Or list. So it's a good, she has been on the rise and she has won everything there is to win in football aside the World Cup. Club football, she's won yeah, everything. True. Yeah, World and Cup. then Probably she has won, she has won AFCON numerous times, just the World Cup and probably the Olympic Games. So for her moving clubs from Barcelona, I think it's time she wants to see regular play. So she's regular 31. football. Yeah, she wants to play more football and probably also, you know, put more cash into cash the, in the pocket. pocket. But, but she's then, somebody that she's it shows to be that she has a good relationship with everybody at Barcelona not not particularly everybody but then I saw the um our message it was, it was really really video. it was really really was emotional. emotional I felt like really, crying really emotional huh? like even just reading it is, I, I, I follow Barcelona the, I follow the, Barcelona the because I, I follow Barcelona because of her and yeah. also so many star players they have there but then for at her least, to leave Barcelona at least now you follow you follow Barcelona because of honor Sure, my, my heart is still in Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona did me dirty, taking all night away from my club. But that's on that story, sir. But for on uh, for Barcelona and um, um my sister Shola was a good relationship, even though she probably want to play, be more of a starter. And I don't think 
four players. It's very hard to see players who are playing consistently yeah. in a very long time. Like, they even always use they're always used old. to rotating. They always rotate their squad, especially the forward players, because they have lots of them. Lots of talents there. in the academy. They have lots of them there. But then for her to still grind out those number of goals, goals. coming from the bench and not playing regularly, she has been fantastic. But and then, she but then for BFC, injured. yeah, injury also. But then BFC, uh, this BFC is a Bay Football Club. They founded in April 4th, 2023, last year. And they will officially um, start playing the National Women's Soccer League, that's the NWSL. Yeah from the full season in 2024. So, it's like, uh, probably say, a new setup. Yes, a new, a new, a setup, new setup. And they've gotten lots of fantastic players. Especially, well, they have experience. Talking about Jane Beatty. Beatty was a Scotland player from Arsenal. From Arsenal, Arsenal and yes. And, and then she's, um, then, except from her, they also got um, Castellanos from yeah. Man City. That is personal. person that if you want assists, like the boy, she will be ditching the assists to you. But then the forward lineup is when I switch in my belly. Like, you no, know, we always have this rivalry between Ghanaians. The Ghana, um, the love derby, Nigerian, Ghana. But I think they will both it's a, it's unite an all together. African, it's an all African yeah. attacking lineup. Never can say, but then they will unite if, together if, to support these two players. What we'll call about? They have, um, BFC have three forwards from Nigeria. Not Nigeria, no, sorry, from, from, Africa. from Africa, rather. And they have Oshola, who I mentioned from Barcelona, Nigeria. And then they have, um, Princess Mafo. Mafo. Her name sounds very she Nigerian. Is, she but she is from that, Ghana. Yes, she's from that. Ghana. She's also a forward player. And then the one that's <laughs> the record she's a young, breaking. She's, she's a young, she's a young very talent. young. Yeah, she is long, young. Very young. She is young. So you know yes. She's young. <laughs> but the one that's the one that's quite interesting is the fact that um they signed the top scorer, two top scorer from, from League F. Yeah. Because Asisat and Rachel Kondonaji. Both of them had combined close to 40 something goals in Lega F last season. And both of them will probably combine to form an attacking duo for BFC. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm and going... she broke record. Yeah. Yes, she's the first. Now, right now, before the record was held by Kera Wash of Barcelona when she moved from Man City to Barcelona for a record fee, then 400 and something thousand euros. But right now, um, Kondonaji has 735,000 euros. Top, she's the highest. She's breaking the record for the women's side, and she's the first person, both male or female, in African football, to break the transfer record. For a person who has who did not play much games for Real Madrid, like not Real like, Madrid, like no Madrid CFF, no, Madrid that's CFF, club, yeah. Madrid CFF, yeah. yeah. Or nasty Madrid. No, no, no. There are two different Madrids in, in Liga, Liga F. F. There's Real Madrid then, and there's Madrid CFF. Um, what I was going to say is. She has not played that number of games that Oshola did, but still she has gotten the three goals in 43 games. Like she's she's consistent. she's lateral. Like even when she faces the big sides, the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid, Sevilla, Valencia, any sides in League F, they know her. She's a ton in the flesh of defenders. She's like now her combining with Sister Oshola. Ah, she's like a so stress defenders. If those two can, if those two of them can give us the Daniel Sturridge and um, the Suarez kind of vibe, or the Duane Yolk and you Ashley Young you're kind of vibe, Sterling, yeah. Sterling and uh, Princess Marvel. I'm on that one. Ah, I'm talking about two attacking I like forwards. They, 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 they Leave that you, one. You just talking about two attacking Dana forwards, Dana. like ah, you know, like you. Ronaldo Benzema kind of, you know, link up. If those two can do that for BFC. Think. They are going they to, are go going to score rise. lots of goals and they will they disturb rise. teams in that league. But then they've made a lot of signings, not about BFC, lots of fantastic signings. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how they do well in WSL. And you know, the, for Asasa Doshola, if she give us that same game plan and get firepower she has been doing in Barcelona, I'm sure that you know, there are some players fans there who always, always, her. always yeah, definitely definitely love her. Her. You know, there are, there are some players that are the, the older they go, the better they get. Yeah. Uh, the most notable. Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay. <laughs> Even Benzema Sorry. himself too. Yeah. Benzema, Benzema, his transformation was like... Well, Benzema, Benzema was, was not, no, no, not miss goals. Mm. Benzema was well, He was a great talent. He was, he was, was a great talent at Lyon. Lyon, exactly. Moved, uh-huh. moved to Madrid. He had lots of players Madrid. in Madrid there. I, I grabbed you know? He not really settled down. But formed that great partnership with BBC and settled for creating assists for yeah, he Bale and Ronaldo. He got goals, but not... Kondonaji and Oshola... All the defenders in NWSC, be ready because... Be ready, actually, because BFC, this is the first time that they're having a female team 
in that city. Yes. That it is uh, them even having a, a football team in that particular axis. Just, just, just thinking that. of the setup right now, they probably, I don't know how they will face those three African sides and then putting Castellanos there, feeding them assist. Ah. It makes sense. Games to watch, sure. Yeah. Where well, Barcelona will not cry anymore because even. No, Barcelona they have, have they, they, they have no Barcelona have talents. They have they they sold um um another Brazilian last last season to Manchester and they talking about um Gays Brazilian yeah. They she, then they also sold out um uh, Oshola, but they have young talents from their squad. They Speaking they just bring the, they just bring out talents the, like as though it's um I don't know. She was the shining one, you know Salma Paraduelo. Yeah, did she played a huge part in this UEFA Nations final? Played a huge part in the semi final. Scored goals. She and Aitana Bomati. The, no, no. In the, the final, it was the goals were from Mariano Caldante and them. Um, no, 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 no. I didn't from, see the final. Okay, I mean, the final. The, the semi final. They played the semi final. The semi final. Bomati too was crucial. No, Bomati is current. She's just showing. She's just showing Wait, that see. Let me Ballon first give her. The Ballon d'Or. Oh, yeah, 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 give her. Let me give first her give her flowers. accolades. Current Ballon d'Or winner. The best player in the Champions League final. The uh, Euros, UEFA uh, Euros player of the year. So it was Gabriel. She's. Yeah. She won the uh, uh, moment of the match in the final in yeah. the in Nations League. The league. And she's just growing from strength to strength. In midfielder, and she just, like, she's a baller. Like, if you're a young player, wishing to, like, probably grow your game and have role models in the game, she's one player. And she's at least she had all these nasty. Of field activities, she just focused on focus on the football, football, bang the goals, get the assist, win games, and she's not even, she's not really a striker. No, she's not. She's a midfielder. She's, she's a midfielder. She is a midfielder. She's not a striker at all. She's not a football like, player. She's a creative midfielder. She gets the goals. She gets the assist. But who like, would you? Who would you? She um, has model a pattern of play. To she like, she actually mm. she likes staying, but she was very close to. I think she was from La Mesia Academy. Yeah. Um, Levante, I see. But then she moved to La Mesia and then she has grown with the likes of she have seen Xavi play. She has seen Zavi, Iniesta, Iniesta then play. So I'm sure she's moving her games in um, that kind of pattern. I think she's tilting towards the Iniesta side. The Iniesta exactly, is the, yes. The yeah. Goal, but then the she's assist, assist everything. The flare, she's she's just the speed sometimes all rounder. Like Scott goes in the Scott a goal in the final uh, two. I'm yeah. sure of words what to describe. Them. I turn about my tea and I I've been raving her praises Nabalondo. on social media Nabalondo. before this time. I'm sure she's. But then for Spain, who can stop them? Nobody. Like, there is ultra dominance in that team. For a while now, we always know the Spanish men's side to win the World Cup, to win the Euros. The, 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 they I had the Xavi, Iniesta, the PK, the Puyo, the Ike Casillas, them. They've always been raving. And then gradually, we saw the national team side. Because when. Some clubs that are doing so, but especially Barcelona, they have lots of players, players. in there playing for the Spanish side. People say, like the main side people say Barcelona has the one saving the Spanish the national, national team. National team. Yeah, well, no, there's no lies there. 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 Yeah, for the national team side. So for them, quickly, they're just slowly, they're giving us the USA vibes for the women's side. Because no, the women's side, the US have dominated. Also, for a very long time. But, but, but no, for the, now, the Spanish, I think not just, the Spanish they're, side. They're not yeah. just dominating the senior team. No, no, they're, 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 they're currently the reigning champions in the World Cup. Under 17? Under 20 World Cup. Under, under 17. 17 World Cup. They also the um, um, UEFA under 19 European Championship. They're and then everything. they won the inaugural. This is the first one. Inaugural UEFA Nations League. I can remember last last year, 2023, um, the men's side won. Yeah, the, the Nations League. The Nations League. So I think both sides are the one holding the trophy. Where they and Germany are the only two teams who have won the World Cup. It's both the men and female. And the female side. Well, um, Nigeria is coming, sure. Eh? <laughs> Why you say, eh? Have faith. Nigeria is coming. If Nigeria Super Eagles can get nine AFCON. Eh? Yeah, like, I can, like, I can, like, I can like women's dream. side. I can, yes, no. I can, I can start no, no, men and women. I can, I can super Eagles, dream. Super Falcons, World Cup, we are coming. Despite the circumstances that happen around them during oh, the World no, Cup that, and that everything. That one is something that, we should, we should, that, should, I just push it back, back on my then, mind because it's just, it, it, it even look like, it even look like, it even look like it has not still left the, but why? why? No, still, it has. The thing there is that, they're not talking about, no, before the whole World Cup happened, because even the coach in question right now is playing Africa. 
he's a current coach of Brokeham Women's Side. Talking about he who I mentioned, Valda. He's the current coach of the Morocco women's side. But, like I said, I think the World Cup, this incident, the whole incident before the World Cup and after the World Cup yeah, to be shine away the from the main celebration. So I don't think the Spanish side wants to hear anything about those incidents again. It's just talk about how they play their football. Because if you meet them, the Spanish side, their football IQ is 100. Individual fitness is fantastic. Their tactical play production is on point. Me the no, only team I saw no, that everything. dismantled them to an extent got the World Cup, and that was um, Japan. Japan. I won them for me. I, I but after Japan that, was going to do much I thought it was a one-off. No, Japan are a fantastic side. They yeah, 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 definitely. Very, very, even, very even the main side, uh, the main side too, very busy in Germany. But, but what's Trash about Germany. the Spanish side is that they, they play like the, the Spanish male side also. They have this intensity. They have possession. It's a team where they you know all their side. You. you know all, all of all your They players. will suffocate you. Know you. They will press you. Press, press, press. Like I, think I, I don't know if it is coincidental. But then, even for if you look at the male side too, there is this chain. Though this recent, the one that won the, the, the Nations League last year, like the likes of the teams that they play for, they happen to play the same kind of football. But like I'm saying, like it's not like a, it's, it's like a, in football we have a what they call it, um, let's say, um, what do they call it, the tactics, tactics or system rather a system. Now in Spain, we know teams like Barcelona have a sort of system and transit to the national team side because most of the players there, the PKs, the yeah, Riestas, the Busquets, yeah. them they you are the ones playing, playing there. Yeah. So it's always more of a tiki taka, more possession football, and they choke and choke you and choke you with possession till you are you tired and there. you give and up. You just, they score. It's the same thing with the women's side because even the coach of France who um, Spain yeah, defeated in the final, Averina had said he faced um, Spain during the World Cup. I think then he was the coach of Morocco. Morocco. And then he said during that time, the same setup and system he saw for the male side is the same thing he witnessed in the game within the women's side. So it was like a like for like um, yeah, it, it's, it's, general it's, it's something, something like, that they've got to create like, as like a niche. Yes, like they just say this, this is something that is Spain. known for, yeah, Spain. But even down even to their the players, under the 20s. Players, the players yes. themselves, like, you get to see this, um, let's say, this personality that, you know, if you are a Spain player, with them you are Spanish, go sabi playbo. Mm -hmm. You must sabi playbo. All of them, you know, if you, Brazil too have that kind of this thing, but then they say certain players you know, are you out know, of there. Antonio, I'm not this, sure that guy this is. thing, this thing is one of the things that made the Gia to leave the well, the Spanish well, national team. I don't say, oh, it was not really, not, though he, ha, he, he doesn't have them, he doesn't have the system he, in him. He played with them from the guy. The unders, this guy said, I'm not, not, not a full Spanish person. Though. Come on, hold it. The guy has been playing from the unders for, Span, for, for the Spanish team. Come on, he, he played in Bilbao. He, up, he, he played he, in Bilbao. He grew up, 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 up Madrid, Madrid, Atletico Madrid. Madrid, yeah. So you can't say that he does not have those kind of things. Probably if he, pro probably if he, probably playing. if you went to He's just the ball playing. If that was probably right. If, if he had grew up in La Masia. He's just the ball playing that the girl doesn't have. But he's the best show stopper, short stopper. Stopper that. So uh, 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 okay, would you say that if he had been in La Masia, if he had started from La Masia, you know, Getting the ball playing. Onana came from that, where? Onana, that Onana, Onana came from where? Now, now, what's that? Oh, what I want to ask you. Onana came from where? That's what I want to ask you now. Yeah, why did not teach him short, short stop in Namasia? That's what I'm saying. That, Aba? that probably you would have still been in Manchester United now. As you know, he never yeah, still get clubs like this. For me, I feel that the Spanish side, like you see them, they are technically sound. Like they are, the intensity when they are playing is so, so much. Like they will hunt you down. They will wear you off like it's all 30, 60 minutes. Like I remember when you're playing Barcelona, for instance, you, for like 30 minutes or 10 minutes spam. Your ball never touched. You never touched touch ball for leg. leg. Never ah, touch ah. Ball. You go, they will pass, 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 pass. When and these players. People, know, they know, like, and funny enough, it's not even about height. They can't play. I the think ball. for now, I think they, for the Spanish women's side, they are heads above everybody right now. Even the US team. The US team we know of then and now are. Way the difference is a whole lot. The milestone for the Spanish side now, and I, I don't think they will slow down anytime soon. Silver Wells keep rolling in for them because they know how to just even chunk in young young stars. They are bringing in a 15 or 16 year old Vicky Lopez from Barcelona. I really yeah. her debut. Yes, she also has a Nigerian descendancy yeah, we, somewhere, we are, somewhere there. But Spain, Spain don't collect her, so I understand. But then for them, 
they're not even resting their laurels right now. They are bringing in lots of talents, young stars. You saw Salma, I called Salma. Yeah, Salma they have even the they have the um, I call this legends or rather you know, the experienced mean, I mean, I mean, ones. I said yes. not this thing they will carry on. But for any sides that want to lock them off the pedestal right now, you have to do a whole lot. It's not be easy. It's not be easy. Even USA, who currently will probably very soon will have a Mahes of Chelsea coaching them. But for her to knock them, down so great for, for them for her to knock down this Spanish side right now will be a whole lot. It's not easy lot. because they're not even slowing down right now. They're just this is just the start of it. And they will keep pressing on. And what do you think will be the height for the Spanish? They won the World Cup already. That's the that's the height of it. But I don't I don't, I don't think I don't think any and this was, this Olympics will be their first time going to the Olympics, footballing wise. Yeah. I mean football wise. Now nah, I don't think any any country has won the World Cup and gone ahead to win the Olympics. So but then so if, the sense if, that Spain cannot do does not exist. Uh -huh. So if they win, if they win the World Cup, win they won they won the World Cup, they won, won the Nations League. Nations League. Nations League. They get to win the Olympics. What they else? are the top favorites. With they and Japan. There's also Germany in the mix. USA can, can, well, can, can write them out. I was out. wondering why you did not mention USA. Defending of champions course. Canada too. But then, for <laughs> me, I just feel the gold medal. Spain. Well, still talking about the Olympics and we were about to round it off. For the Super Falcons, how long, how far do you think they can go? I told you. If, 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 that's, if they even qualify. If they we, qualify. We will qualify. South Africa are coming, but we qualify. Well, they have other issues to think about. There's still Wafcon coming up. A whole lot coming up. This year, I'm saying that we have so many competitions, but I think women's football wise, even attendance for the UEFA Nations League was a whole lot. And we've seen sports women's sides grow. We've seen stadiums sell out. So this Olympics coming up, and with Spain in the kind of form they are in right now, and even Nigeria themselves, the kind of form Super Falcons are in right now. I yes, I okay. beating. I want to. I'm sure that the world definitely looking forward to the Olympics, Paris. Last, last question before we go. So, would you regard Randy Wardrum's success for the Super Falcons if he gets on to go to the Olympics and do and does well? Do you well, think he, they, he, like he, for the Wafcon? The Wafcon is coming up. I think year. he has to redeem himself because me already. Me, I don't. I'm going to say cause. Me, I gave him a lot of stick for the Wafcom finishing for today. But I think he has learned his lesson and he has changed a lot of setup tactical wise. And for him to qualify us to the Olympics for the first time in 16 years, that would be a speaks big a, tick. A, lot. a big tick for me and for him himself and for everybody sporting wise in Nigeria. If Super Falcons make it to the Olympics, imagine you want to see Ashley Ponta. Even the match against Cameroon, a man came with a, a, a cardboard yeah. paper and saying she should please give Same. him it Jesse for his wife. Those are people that are coming out to watch Super Falcons play. So I'm sure that if we end up going to the um, Olympics, the names in that list are like a whole lot, but we'll face some of them, at least Canada. Yeah. Yeah, me, I'm, I'm, I'm not really focusing about the, but, the Olympics. I'm talking about the, the, Af the WAFCON. No, but qualifying for the, for, the, for the Olympics is one thing that, that, that's the nearest thing right now. Should it be a benchmark for, for, like, for you to give him a, okay, has been successful if he does not qualify well, for the Olympics? So many people have gone there and not qualified. But I feel with the chunk of players he has and the way we are going, I feel he's going to qualify. qualify. And then for the WAFCON, it's like a... Revenge? Revenge. Not revenge per se, but do better. Try to because stick we clean. know that we are always, yes, the trophy has to come back from South Africa to Nigeria because now here in the West State, it, Wafcon, you know, remains in the Western South Africa, Nigeria. Well, you know, there are also a team to look at for after that performance at the World Cup. So, all eyes are on Nigeria. Of course. All eyes on Super Falcons. All eyes are around the world. And definitely all eyes are on you. Women's sports. It's wow. growing. So, you know, everywhere we are right now, I said, Wafcon is coming up. So, Bafa, um, Tibai goes didn't really go far in giving us the, carrying us to the promised land completely. They stop off our gates. But <laughs> Super, super Falcons, land. we carry us enter promised land. Mm. I believe that. Mm. Yes. Cha, cha, cha. Amara Tokam. Stamp, sealed, delivered. Make sure you like and subscribe. 
you know, on our channels, YouTube. Let us know Facebook. who you are looking forward to watching or seeing in action in the Olympics. Remember, not just um, the football side. Athletics wise, we have Toby Amusa and probably yeah. looking around. We also have um, in um, what's watch out, watch, 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 watch out for the Olympics. Esebrume. So we have so many things coming up. Even the D Tigress, yes, basketball are also qualified already for Olympics. The Olympics is one to watch. Year. Don't miss it out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share on all platforms. Thank you so much for joining us in this episode. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.